So I had the pleasure to talk to a lot of startups and people and this whole conference in the last days, and I learned so much about India and like this whole generation that grows up with a mobile phone suddenly, right? And then everybody's talking about this, and like sign up was before the conference was like, now everybody's shutting down their mobile web stuff, and like that's kind of the topic of the conference is all shit, and like what do we do? And like so the joke was well taken. Actually, uh, like the Clear Trip talk, I think like uh, a few of the things that I'm going to talk about actually vibe with that a lot, um, and I want to pick up on a few things that I heard before. So let this be the meta refresh roundup: web versus native. Sorry for the dramatic entrance, but I thought that was appropriate. Um, when is the mobile web good? So this is kind of the, a quick summary of all that I've seen and witnessed in the last days about when do you do mobile web? It's an immediate need. It's an impulsive need. can happen in the browser really quickly. The person is on the go, meaning it doesn't have access to an alternative. It's a lightweight uh, app or, or application that needs to be executed at that moment. There's little commitment or no commitment required from the user, which can actually increase engagement in some ways. Uh, there's little complexity in the app. Faster Cache was a great example. It's like it's a one-step process in a way, and like very, very little complexity, whereas like shopping, specifically grocery shopping, for example, is like you have a lot of uh, items in your cart, and like that has higher complexity. It's a one-time transaction, and you don't know when you're going to do the next one. It's infrequent in that sense. And you have a need for fast iteration, meaning you can update it right away. Right? On the other side, when is a native app great? There's a repeating need. The customer needs to come back. You will, he's on the go, too. Um, there's higher complexity, heavier code. You rely much more on experience, you know, animations, and these kind of things. Uh, the user actually benefits from committing as well. Uh, there's performance requirements by the app, so you have direct access to the hardware. Uh, the engagement needs to be higher, meaning you make money out of engagement through ads or something like that. Uh, you need access to the sensors of the phone, and you want to use the marketing channel App Store, which is very important for the reasons that we just heard, that like, there are a lot of people that grow up and they look first for a solution on the App Store before they actually find the browser. So I throw in another one for, you know, uh, good measure. When is the desktop web good? Well, it's high complexity. You have much more space, so you can visualize complexity a lot better. It's for high commitment of the user side. Nobody is going to buy a car on your mobile phone, right? That's something that you usually do with others together, and you compare prices. You go for and back, and it's like a really important decision. Lots of money involved, right? You want to be in a controlled environment where you have a bit of quietness and like you can think. In that moment, desktop is really, really great, and mobile is really, really bad. Right? That's why most people, like I, I built an online grocery shop in Singapore called Red Mart at the time uh, from the website perspective. And we saw this, that people put into cart on mobile, and 60% of those people that do this actually check out on web. Meaning they go home, and then they review everything that they did, and see if they forgot something when they have a moment of quietness on a bigger screen with more white space, where they can see everything better, and that's where they check out. 60%, yeah. So there are 40% that check out on mobile, but of 100% of people adding to cart on mobile, 60% check out on web. So they do this on the go, they add stuff that comes to mind whenever it comes to mind, and then they buy it at home. Right? Um, and again, you have a need for fast iteration. And this brings me to a final conclusion. If you're looking forward to create a startup or a product or anything, a project, how do you start today, specifically in this country? And I would say like that. And I have a few reasons out of everything that I just said. Um, you can re really easily upgrade a mobile website through media queries and attach new things when you have more space. That's actually much easier than creating a complex desktop experience and trying to get things out for a mobile screen. So this way, you find yourself actually having just one code base, but already supporting two experiences in a way, um, and much better than the other way around. Uh, you have immediate broad accessibility. Everybody has a browser, right? And I don't mind educating people a bit that it exists and there's not only the App Store. Um, modern. Um, Mobile browsers are actually more modern than desktop browsers, you know, IE and stuff. 
you don't have to deal with that problem. You can use technologies like Flexbox and a lot of others that help you creating lighter code bases that actually work a lot faster on mobile. And you can do that if you do mobile web first. OK, there's Opera Mini and others, but I would actually consider having a separate text-only uh, code base for those guys because that's the fastest and gives people the best performance and experience. You can wrap it if you really want to put it into the App Store. And you can fix things fast, because when you're young, when you just started, you don't know what you're doing, so you really want to not lock yourself into one experience and then be stuck with it. You want to update again and again and again and again, right? So that's it. That's my five minutes uh, roundup on web versus native, and I hope that gives you a little bit of a <laughs> funnel. And therefore, also on, I think Adam was his name, Flipkart, like that they shut down mobile web, I think, that's really just because they don't have enough people or something yet to ma maintain that channel. Because I think mobile web, even for, <laughs> I don't know why, even for, like even if you offer just a piece of the experience, like and just a subset of functionality, you might help some people with it, right? So if you can afford it and it makes business sense, uh, like you want to keep that open in a way because it's just another channel. It's like they will have offline brick and mortar stores at some point. Maybe they don't know that yet, but it's just another channel. But it's another user experience entirely. So, you know, I don't think you should take it out of the equation. Just saying. Thanks. <laughs>